In 2020, you have to be selfish. I said it. And I know what the black community in particular is gonna say. They're gonna say, this is the reason why the black community is not unified. And they're divided because everybody thinks for themselves and they don't care about other people. And that's not the type of selfishness that I'm talking about. You understand? You know, that type of selfishness where if you have $100 and your cousin needs $10 because he needs to get, uh, he needs to Uber from home to work and you don't give it to him. That's not the type of selfishness that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, self, the, the, the selfishness that's really self-preservation. Making sure that you're straight before you make sure that anybody else is, is straight. You understand? Like, take for example, if I have a piece of bread, somebody comes up to me and say, hey, can I have that piece of bread? I'm hungry. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to be like, nah, that's okay. I'm going to wait until I get a loaf of bread. Then I could be able to cut a slice for him to give to him without risking my life or without me jeopardizing whatever I have for him. I'm not going to give you the shirt off my back. That's not going to happen. Unless I have 30 shirts. Unless I have it to give. And that's the point that I'm making. You don't give a person a piece of bread. You don't give them half of it. You wait until you get that loaf of bread and then you cut that person a piece of the loaf of bread that you have and then give it to them. A piece of bread or two pieces of bread. But you always make sure that you're situated, that you're straight. You know what's crazy to me? I see all of these people go out, right? In particular, like um, the coronavirus thing that's going on. I see all these people going out to help the homeless, right? In their time of need. Because the coronavirus is definitely affecting them, right? So you have people that are living from paycheck to paycheck That work regular jobs You know, they have responsibilities such as children They have car insurance, house, uh, house ins home insurance um, A car, car note They have to pay for gas Food, water bill, light bill They have all of these responsibilities But guess what? They negate that and they say to themselves I gotta go out there and feed the poor As if they're not poor Right? So they go out there and they help and they help, help, help. And guess what? It gets, it becomes overwhelming. And the reason why it does is because you literally think that you're, you're capable of doing for the homeless, but you're not. You're just a step away from being homeless, homeless yourself, especially if you're in a situation where you're living from paycheck to paycheck, period. So what do you do? You allow the rich to take care of the poor because they have it. Now once you become rich, that's something different. But for now, you have to, it's called self-preservation. You have to be selfish. You have to focus on you. It took me so long, so goddamn long to realize that. Do you know how many mistakes that I've made? You know how many sacrifices that I've made for others? And guess what? The first thing is I put myself second And I put somebody first in my life Right The second thing is When it was time for them to do the same for me Guess what they did They damn for sure didn't put me first So the energy The time The, 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 the care and The compassion And the love that I had For them By putting my life on the line Putting them first They didn't show the same thing for me it is not wise for you to think about others before you think about yourself. It's just that plain and simple. It's nothing complicated about that. It took me a long time to realize that. And it's the reason why I had to make this video. Because a lot of y'all that look at, look at my videos and look at my channels, plural, my old and new channel, a lot of y'all are young. And I just don't want you all to walk down that same street that I walked down. Because 
it's going to put you in a situation where you're going to teach, you're going to be teaching the next generation all of the pitfalls that you fell into. Whereas if you listen to me right now, you won't have to fall through none of those pitfalls because I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. When you put someone in front of your life, when you put someone first, it doesn't make a difference if it's your mother. I get tired of hearing this. That's blood. You know, that's blood. That's my mama. You know, she's the one that created me. Okay, all right, cool. So what's the problem? Well, you know, she's being evicted for, from her apartment and I have to help her out with rent before she gets evicted. Um, okay, um, is this her habitual thing? What do you mean habitual thing, Langston? I mean, does she like always get evicted? Like, has she been doing this for years? Yeah, you know, when we were children, I remember we had to pack up our stuff and leave from house to house to house to house. And yeah, she's been, this is redundant. She's doing, she's, she's been doing this all her life. Okay, so the next question is, um, do you rent? Yes, I rent, I rent a house. I, I, I pay my own bills, you know, and, and I really can't afford to help my mother out. So why are you doing it? Because blood is sticking in water. No, you're going to be evicted along with her. And guess what? She's going to continue to fuck up. Sometimes you don't like to hear the truth because the truth woo, hurts. But it doesn't make a difference whether it hurts or whether it makes you feel good. The truth is the truth. And it's just that plain and simple. It doesn't make a difference if it's your mother, your father, your aunts, your uncles. You got to look out for you. You got to look out for yourself. Period. Yo, I came out of my mother's womb by myself. And they gonna bury me six feet under when I die. And I'm gonna be by myself. Meaning I'm gonna leave this planet by myself. Period. I've had girlfriends upon girlfriends upon girlfriends. I've invested all my time into them, all my effort. And it's one thing, and I, I'm not trying to be funny, it's just a fact. It's one thing that, that women don't play. They're going to look out for themselves. So guess what? When this relationship, they'll, they'll, they won't tell you. They won't tell you, young men. But I'm trying to give you game. I'm dropping jewels. Pick them up. Understand, right? They're not going to tell you this. But guess what? If and when this relationship doesn't work, they're, in their mind, they're saying, I have a plan. Meaning that women have a stash that they don't touch. And it's just in case if something happened, just in case if this relationship don't work, I can walk away with my head up, knowing I got my own back. When are you gonna have yours, young man? And for, for some of you women that don't do it, when are you gonna have your own back? You know how many relationships I walked away from? And I had to leave the furniture because it was hers. I had to leave the car because it was hers. I had to leave everything except for the clothes on my goddamn back and two small ass bags. That's all I owned. Because I was always looking out for someone else. That's the point that I'm making to you. I've always been an entrepreneur, so all my ex-girlfriends, you can you can call them up and tell them and ask them. And they'll vouch. They ain't gonna lie. They're gonna be real. Yo, every time this man, every time I said something, this man was boom, gun ho, ready. For an example, my my um ex-girlfriend wanted to open up a lingerie shop. I said, all right, get the lingerie and let's get it popping. You know, um, make the long story short. She, she wasn't able to open up the lingerie shop, but we still turned it in, into a business. We started getting um, stripper outfits and lingerie from Frederick's of Hollywood. My ex-girlfriend had a business license, so she would order the, 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 the um, outfits online. And her and I would go to the strip clubs. I mean, we didn't go together. We went separately. She went to, to the white strip clubs because they were more, you know, in, in like... They didn't want, I, I'm just going to be, I ain't going to say race, they were being racist, but they didn't want a, no black man going inside the locker rooms with all these white girls. And and so I didn't go in that, that, that side of town, you know, the white side of town. I went into the hood and they didn't care. They, <laughs> the hood, <laughs> strip clubs welcomed me. And I gave it my all. But when it was time for her to do it, do the same, I got no love in return. What I'm telling you is to 
be selfish, to care about yourself. Focus on you, because that's what life is about. You, your journey. And I know what some of y'all gonna say. I'm about to get up. I ain't gonna listen. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm about to get up off of this, right? But I know what some of y'all are gonna y'all y'all are saying. Cause I see it in the comment section. Oh, Langston, he always talking about eat healthy, drink water, do this, exercise, and blah blah blah. You keep on saying it and telling us and telling us. Let me tell you something. Who else do you want to live for? But you. And for some of y'all that have children, you need to be drinking water. You need to be eating healthy. You need to be exercising because those children are looking at you. And they're going to mimic and pattern themselves off of what they see. Whether it's indirect or what you're indirect or directly teaching them. Good or bad. So then you're wondering why. <laughs> you're wondering why your, your little girl grew up. And she married a fat boy that didn't want to work out. Well, damn, nigga, you, you 295. A lazy fat boy at that. And you lazy too. Come on, man. We got to do better. And the first priority is you. Focus on you. Put your life first. And see what will happen after that. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share the video. One.